A man who wore many hats, 87-year-old Harlan County native Eugene Goss, also known as Gene, died on December 23rd after a long battle with Parkinson's disease. WYMT's Haley Minogue talked to folks about the man they describe as humble and hardworking. Through his life, Gene Goss made many friends and celebrated many accomplishments. He was a man that was highly respected in the community. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he was a, a person that was willing to, to share and to talk about uh, anything, anybody's concerns. Uh, he always had time for people, even though he was an incredibly busy man. Born and raised in Harlan, Goss graduated from Harlan High School in 1946 before joining the U.S. Air Force. After his service, Goss attended EKU and after only three years was accepted to UK's College of Law. He was a tough lawyer, you know, won some great cases, uh, argued some cases, I think, uh, in some higher courts. In addition to a successful law career, Goss served the state as a politician. That's where his friendship with Rick Fox began. Goss and Fox supported each other, despite their party differences. And a lot of my Democratic fellows in Frankfurt didn't think that was a good idea, but I knew what kind of man Gene was, and I knew that he was for Harlan County and for all the people of Kentucky. Goss published three books, his first at age 83. But all of these successes paled in comparison to his biggest accomplishment of all. Well, of course, you'd have to be being a dad first. I mean, his son, Mark David, is a reflection of that. As a man who was um, very dedicated to the state and to the Bar Association, um, he was a family man, and I think that's what some people may not realize about him. Born and raised in Harlan, now his final resting place, his mountain home. In Harlan County, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. In lieu of flowers, the family requests donations be sent to Harlan Independent Schools Education Foundation.